Hello and welcome. In this video we'll be taking a look at cold starting the de Havilland Mosquito FB Mark VI by Eagle Dynamics. Now just before we get into the procedure, just to let you know that this is my own version of it, um, I have been through in the manual and the startup procedure in that manual and it's a bit sketchy. There is um, a bit physically missing between selecting fuel tanks and warming engines. There's, no, there's nothing in between to tell you how to physically start the engines so it just assumes that you know what you're doing. Um, so with that I've basically gone in with what I know to get the engine started. It works, uh, I haven't had any issues with it so far so if you're happy to carry on with that we'll get cracking. So we'll start with the parking brake which is here that is actually on at the moment but I'll release it and uh, we'll put it back on just to show that that is the case so hold the brake, left alt, tango on the keyboard, let go brake, let go key bindings it is now set, parking brake is now set next we're going to look at the pneumatic system for the brakes make sure that's reading over 200 psi which it is next we will fire up the electricity supply uh, right click there lights on the undercarriage gauge, we have a red light over here tell us we're not charging and on top of that we have just under 26 volts to play with on the voltmeter. Next we're going to check on the bomb arming uh, section here make sure all the switches are off, which they are, and the guard is on, it is. Above is the um, bomb bay door warning light, uh, that, that sh when the doors are open that will uh, be lit to warn you that that is the case um, but we can physically uh, check and as you can see uh, the doors are closed normally uh, pre-mission they would be opened up to arm the aircraft and then uh, after start up it would be up to the pilot to close those before taxi um, but as this is just a start procedure video that isn't the case uh, the Bombay doors are closed so with that checked we will now check the uh, levers here to make sure they are all in a neutral position and guards are locked. Uh, Bombay doors is in neutral, we know it's closed so that's checked. Uh, gear handle is in neutral uh, with the guard on and the flap lever is also in neutral with the guard on. Now we're going to check behind the seats here and we're going to select out tanks and pressurize the fuel with this lever here and now we are good to talk to the ground crew. So with that we will advance the throttles forward slightly about an inch and a half we will adv advance the uh, prop pitch all the way to full we are going to open the window and with the backslash key on the keyboard we're going to select ground crew and start priming engines. On the starter. Copy. Now we're good to go so now we need to select magnetos here on the left hand engine so right click there, right click there and we need to get to these two buttons here uh, the star and the boost coil so right click, right click now we need to left click hold the starter and right click hold the boost coil to get the engine actually started um, so we'll hold the left hand button down on the mouse as you can see everything's coming online and the prop is now turning and then we're going to right click hold the boost coil a satisfying little explosion there and now we are reading on our RPM gauge so we let go of the buttons and we're going to left click just to cover those back up and then it's the same again for the right hand engine so magnetos on covers open left click and hold to get the starter going it's spinning and then right click hold another satisfying little explosion there and now that engine is going right, right, uh, left click hold to cover those back up now so what we're going to do now is wait for the engines to warm up um, until we start registering uh, temperature on our uh, radiating radiate coolant gauges down here but while uh, we're waiting for that to happen we can go around the cockpit and do our bits and pieces 
Um, so we're going to zero out the barometric altimeter to AGL, that's above ground level. Uh, we will line our direction indicator with our magnetic compass. Our magnetic compass is reading 055 degrees, so move that to 055. Um, switch on our RI compass, that is now live. We are also going to put on our nav lights, uh, our pito heat, our IFF, and we are also going to switch on our intercom switch. Now we are reading uh, temperature on our left hand engine, so we can now switch the radiator flap on for that. And we are now starting to read a temperature on our right hand engine. So again, right hand radiator flap is now on. We're also going to set our trims for um, takeoff. This you want to set for about, um, I would set it for one notch and a half. So if we go ahead and do that. Okay. And then we also want to um, adjust our rudder trim to just between the T and the R in trim there. Okay, so that's trims are good, um, engines are warming up nicely, we need to switch our radio on, uh, so uh, channel A, so we can talk to ground crew. Speaking of ground crew, we can now close, up, close our engine because we're finished with that. Get it a bit quieter in here. Those Merlin 25s do uh, make a lot of racket. Um, make sure our uh, supercharger um, gear ratio is in the low, not high. We'll only use that once we get to higher uh, altitudes. Mixture is still on rich. All is good. Okay, so just making a final check on all the gauges. Everything's good, 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 good. And we could also um, switch on our oxygen pressure valve here if we want. Uh, if we are doing a high level flight, we can switch that on uh, by right clicking. And then once we get to around about 10,000 feet or 9,000 feet, we can switch on our regulator here uh, and then we'll have oxygen uh, to the mask so we, we don't get hypoxic. Um, and now that we have um, started up and we are ready to go, we can now select our main tanks as fuel. That is all good to go. Right. So we are ready to roll. Uh, engines are still warming up. Uh, we would need to wait that a little bit longer for the needles to um, settle. Um, and then we could be on our merry way. Uh, so that, with that, that is the start procedure. Um, whether that's been helpful to anybody, or if I've done something wrong in that, or missed something out, please do let me know in the comments, um, as I'm always keen to learn. And also, um, if I've earned a subscription, please subscribe, uh, or if I've done a good job, leave a like. If you leave a dislike, please let me know why. Don't just automatically dislike it and just leave it at that, because either I've done something wrong and nobody's bothered to tell me, or just my videos are that bad. Probably because they're that bad, to be fair. But anyway, that's cold starting the Mosquito FB Mark VI. Um, yeah. Always a bit of fun. With that, uh, take care, and as always, I'll see you in the next one. So, thank you for watching.